What's good? Oh man, where do I begin? Oscar Valdez knocks out Miguel Burchell in the 10th round. Knocks him out cold. Knocks him out cold in the 10th round with a left hook. One that was landing all night. Dropped him in the 4th round with that left hook. Dropped him in the ninth round uh, from a southpaw stance like with a right uppercut and left hook combination. Uh, what a performance, I gotta say. What a good plan editing also had for Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez started um, throwing that jab, moving his feet, and moving his head, man. He knew Bachel was coming to fight, but he also knew that he was a faster guy. And Bechel was the bigger guy. He did look a lot bigger. Uh, they said that he was a uh, pretty much a welterweight 146. So he gained 16 pounds from yesterday. So he was fighting a bigger and I gotta say stronger opponent. It didn't look like that in this fight, but he probably was definitely stronger than Valdez. But man, Valdez looked a lot faster. Looked like the one that actually had a plan, and uh, in the fourth round, he landed a left hook that hurt Burchell, and he caught him with a combination, and the only thing that was holding Burchell up was the rope, so the referee counted, counted him as a technical knockdown, pretty much, but after that, uh, Burchell was on shaky legs, pretty much... Pretty much, if Burchell wasn't a champion in the fourth round, this fight would have been stopped because he was stumbling, he <laughs> looked drunk, the chicken leg, like, like the chicken dance, like the Zab Judah against Kasuzu. Man, man, not that bad, not that bad, but man, uh, he, was, he was hurt in that fourth round. Anybody else would have been stopped, non title fight would have been stopped. And I am kind of in favor of giving the champion the benefit of the doubt especially since that was the end of the round it was the end of the fourth round um you could say he got saved by the bell in the fourth round so i am in favor of giving the champion the benefit of the doubt especially at the end of the round like i said so in the fifth round valdez went for the kill pretty much but it didn't come so in the sixth and seventh he kind of let go of that game plan a little bit and he stopped jabbing, he was going for those big shots, he kind of stopped throwing a little bit. Uh, he kind of took those rounds to recover, and Burchell was the one getting more offense going. And if Burchell tied up once in a while, he he maybe could have survived till the 12th round. He, he did get stopped in the 10th. He definitely would have stopped Valdez's barrages when he was hurt. That's why I say, guys. You need to learn, these fighters need to learn when to tie up. Even if you've never been hurt before, you, they need to practice that. They at least need to have it in the back of their mind that they could get hurt. That in their career, this is boxing after all. They are getting punched in the face. They are getting punched in the body. That they, they might get hurt and they need to survive. Uh, when, have, when would Mayweather have thought that he was going to get hurt? But he tied up like that, like that, against Shane Mosley. So we're talking about an all-time great, though. And Burchell is a, a very good fighter. He had done six defenses, but he did not know how to tie up. He was he looked very slow in this fight. He does fight with his chin up. And this favored, this favored Oscar Valdez when he would throw those big hooks that he likes to throw but he would throw them behind an educated jab and while making Burchell miss with his, with his um with, with his uh, wild punches with his big hooks with his big power punches because he is a power puncher he is a knockout type of guy man and I gotta say I didn't make a prediction video but I was proven wrong I thought Burchell was a stronger fighter I even thought he was a better boxer um, I'm glad to be proven wrong by Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez was the better boxer. He really he was a bigger puncher in this fight. I don't know if he's a bigger puncher, period. But I think after a performance like that, you gotta say that 
Oscar Valdez is the bigger puncher, man. He's a better boxer. He's a smarter boxer. He's a faster guy. And he used every one of his advantages to his favor. He used them and he used Valdez's weaknesses in his favor as well. He used that Valdez was slower. He used that Valdez was is very robotic and a guy that won't give up and a guy that won't tie up, man, until he dropped him in the fourth, he dropped him in the ninth. And he hung in there. He hung in there. They didn't stop the fight. But he was stopped. Uh, let's picture, if you haven't seen the fight, go watch it, man. If you want to see a beautiful uh, game plan being displayed. A work goal, I got to say, um, I love to um, describe boxing as an art. It is a sweet science. And I always say that um, during Undertaker vs. Shawn Michaels, Michael called a commentator. He said, how appropriate that they are they are wrestling in a canvas because they are painting a work of art. And <laughs> Oscar Valdez painted a work of art tonight with his performance. Violent art, brutal art, the sweet science, the savage science, all at once, especially with that knockout. Um, glad to see Oscar Valdez, uh, Burchell sit up and uh, I hope he, he's okay because it was a nasty knockout. Uh, Knockout of the year, performance of the year. Uh, been a, about this has been one of my favorite fighters since the Scott Quick fight, man. Woo! What a performance. Well, I, I gotta say, super impressed. Glad to be proven right, guys. But this is why, this is why you fight the fights, man. This is why they gotta fight. Doesn't matter who I think will win. Doesn't matter who... Um, Julio says that Chavez, it doesn't even matter who Chavez said was going to win because he picked Burchell and Oscar Valdez was motivated by that. He didn't use that to, to like a Devin Haney saying, oh, Tim Bradley and shit. He didn't use that to just talk on Twitter. He used that as motivation to prove his hero wrong. He, now he could go, hey, Chavez, you picked against me, but I used that as fuel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julio. Where is he? Right there. Thank you, Julio, for picking against me because now I am the WBC champion. And what a performance. And hopefully by the end of the year, he could be fighter of the year. And I don't see a knockout beating this, but it's still February, man. And let's get the, like, guys, let's get these fight, fights made because we get performances like this. We get um, upsets like this. We get surprises. We get great fights. But they gotta happen. So thanks everybody for watching. Congratulations Oscar Valdez. And what do you guys think? Peace.